What we wanted to do today actually is get Lee to kind of talk about fats today and it, the, the confusion that's out there, just how to you know, read labels, you know, what, what are bad fats, maybe what are good fats, those kind of things. A lot of confusion right. in the marketplace. There really is. There really is. And, you know, there's uh, still ongoing controversy about, um, uh, you know, ketogenic or high-fat diets versus low-fat diets, but we're going to cover that in a separate in a separate Facebook Live segment, so be sure to tune in uh, for, uh, for a future segment on that one. But today what I want to focus on is I want to talk ab uh, about uh, bad fats, uh, good fats, some examples, and then let's talk about how you can figure out very quickly how much fat there is in a packaged food yeah that's the one i, I think want to that know. that's really important yeah you know because uh, so, some of them are really eye openers yeah as, as we're going to see good so let's just start by talking a little bit about bad fats okay so what are bad fats and what are good fats bad fats typically fall into the categories of saturated or trans fats, okay? And saturated fats are typically fats that, uh, fat molecules that have a double hydrogen. And I'm not gonna get into a lot of chemistry here, but fats are typically chains of carbon atoms all put together and they have bonds in between them, okay? And uh, uh, a saturated fat has no double bonds. Um, uh, so uh, that's what typically makes uh, the definition, the chemical definition of a saturated fat. Now, real world, what does that do in your body? Well, saturated fats have been shown to lower uh, low density lipoproteins, LDL, cholesterol, uh, I'm sorry, raise it, which is the bad cholesterol, right. and, and uh, lower HDL or high density lipoprotein cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol that kind of cleans the uh, arterial walls and that type of thing. So it has a negative effect from a cardiovascular standpoint it's uh, it's not it's just not good for your health you know so uh, there, there's uh, there's some some issues there now uh, trans fats are even worse hmm. okay trans fats are really they're processed fats they start by taking vegetable oil and 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 a plant they will literally bubble hydrogen through it and then what ends up happening is that you have a fat that is carcinogenic. Uh, it's very detrimental to your health. You find a lot of trans fats in packaged foods. If it says hydrogenated oil or hydrogenated soybean oil or that type of thing, you know, um, you know, here's here's a perfect example. This is. Uh, this is a, a, a ranch dressing, okay? And the second ingredient, or the first ingredient here is a vegetable oil. You know, um, you have to look past that and you have to ask yourself, well, is it hydrogenated oil or not? Right. Um, you know, and you know, uh, anything with hydrogenated oil, you definitely want to stay away from. Typically, hydrogenated oils are uh, things that uh, are more solid at room temperature. Right. Okay, like margarine, believe it or not, is an example of a hydrogenated oil. You know, they start out with vegetable oil and it turns into a solid, right. and, you know, through the process and uh, that generates trans fats, you know, so. Um, should we avoid all trans fats, do you think? Yes, or, yes okay. tra trans fats should be avoided in general, right. you know. Um, you know, uh, I think just in general, you should try to eat as much unsaturated fat, and we're going to talk about that in a second. But Got it. let me talk. Let me give you some examples. Here's some real-world examples. I know it's a little technical there, but let's talk about this. Examples of things that contain saturated fats and uh, trans fats, the things that you should stay away from: uh, luncheon meat, uh, pork, fatty cuts of beef, margarine, mayonnaise, uh, salad dressings, fries chips right. you know and, and things like that fries are some of the worst by yeah. the way french fries they're the worst right. okay because uh, uh typically what it involves is taking an oil and heating it up to a very high temperature right. and that creates trans fats so uh you know uh, french fries are full of trans fats and again those are carcinogenic not good for your body so let's talk a little bit then about good fats and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to how to read labels on packaged uh, products so you can figure out how much fat is in them. So uh, the good fats are typically the unsaturated fats and those tend to be like vegetable fats like avocados. Uh, okay, sorry about that. There we go. Avocado. Yes. And uh, um, uh, things uh, like this. Okay, here's uh, fish oil. Okay, you can get this by eating salmon, mackerel, or sardines also, or you can, uh, you can take uh, the uh, uh, fish oil, which is a good uh, source of omega-3 fatty acids such as DHA and EPA. 
Okay. Right. And I think we, uh, we have them in here too, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Our, this, is, right? this is our ethylene product, which is an essential fatty acid blend that not only has the omega-3 uh, fa uh, fatty acids, but also the um, omega-6 and omega-9. Mm -hmm. So it's a complete fa uh, free fatty acid supplement. That's a real good one. Here's a real good one too. This is out of the Lean Body for Her line. It is krill oil. And krill oil is some of the best, uh, is one of the best sources of omega-3 uh, uh, type fats, uh, fatty acids in the world. It's very, very pure. You'll find it uh, online on labrata.com. But let's talk a little bit about those good fats. Uh, typically, uh, good fats, unsaturated, they have more than one uh, uh, double uh, unsaturated carbon in the, uh, in the chain. It's a, uh, got a double, double hydrogen bond. Typically liquid at room temperature, so it's an oil. Right. See, liquid at room temperature. Right. You know, now if you stick this in the refrigerator and it's cold enough, it'll start setting up you know, ditto stuff like coconut oil, for instance. Right. You know, but um, uh, examples of good fats are salmon, mackerel, sardines, right. uh, nuts, avocados. We talked about those. So those are some, uh, examples of some yeah. uh, some good fats. And how do you how do you supplement? Your, how do you make sure you get enough in your diet? Like, okay, I, I get to see you eat. I sure. see those kind of things. But sure. I'm sure, everybody else would like to know too. So we've so. talked a lot about the technical aspect. Let's talk about the real world aspect. Right. You know, so most people get more than enough fat in their diet. Right. The problem is they're getting the wrong kinds of fats, okay? You know, because there's a lot of people that will eat things like greasy burgers, french fries, pizzas. You know, they'll put, uh, uh, you know, uh, fully leaded ranch dressing all over their salad, you know, and so they're getting a lot of fat already in their diet. Right. It's not, th not that you're not getting enough fat in your diet, guys. On average, if, you know, you live here in the United States, you're probably getting more than enough fat. Right. Okay, it's the types of fats that that are in question. So what we should do is should probably get away from things like lunch meat, things like pork, uh, fat cuts of beef, uh, uh, you know, junk foods, okay, you know, basically junk foods, you know, burgers, fries, tacos, pizzas, things like that. Try to just cut down on those or keep them limited to maybe one, one time a week, that kind of thing. And then let's emphasize things that are healthier for you. Fats that are healthier for you, again, include avocados, they include nuts like almonds, walnuts, and, and the like. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, include uh, fish oil, which I take every day. I take a tablespoon or two of the fish oil every day. You know, so uh, you, basically it's just a question of shifting over to uh, natural fats. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So one of the things that I want to talk about next, okay, now that we've talked about uh, good fats and bad fats, what, one of the things that I want to talk about is how to read labels on on uh, manufactured food, processed foods, uh, packaged foods, let's say, you know, in order to determine how much fat is in something. Right. And so I had Chad bring his trusty calculator. There you go. Okay, although some of you guys Got my may phone be too, able to yeah, so right. use that so as a calculator. Some of you guys may be able to do this in your head real quick. You know, after a while you'll be able to do this in the grocery aisle. When you're going through, you'll just pick up a packaged packaged food like this delicious Velveeta macaroni and cheese. Who doesn't love macaroni and cheese, right? Okay, tastes good, but let's take a look at what we got here. Okay, so Chad, okay. you just take a look at this little guy right here. Right underneath the Nutrition Facts panel, you can see right there that it has 220 calories and 70 of those calories are from fat. 70, okay. So we're going to take 70 and divide it by 70. 220. <laughs> okay, divided by 220. Right. Okay. And we get 32%. So this wow, product is about 32% fat, fat by calories, okay? Not by weight, by calories, okay? So that's, that's a bit on the high side. What I tell people that are trying to lose body fat and get lean, mm -hmm. you know, those that are trying to develop a lean body, is try to keep your diet at about 20% fat by calories or less. That doesn't mean that you can't occasionally eat a food that's higher in fat. That just means that on the whole, you know, meal to meal, you should try to keep your fat calories at about 20%. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I, I'm, I'm a proponent of lower fat diets for people that want to uh, get lean get and lean. stay okay. lean. But again, it has to be a, a good fat, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And let's just say this, Lena, I know we're not gonna talk too much about this, but let's just say I was trying trying to get lean and I said okay it's 20% would I do much better maybe at going at maybe 10% no. fat or 15 or something like that? I don't think so right. because your body needs a certain amount of uh, good fats, okay? Got it. There's a reason that the three macronutrients <laughs> that your body can digest are fats, 
carbohydrates and proteins. Those are the three things, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, we can't uh, digest uh, uh, cellulose like cows can, right, right. you know, for instance. Yeah. We don't have the enzymes for that. Those are the three macronutrients that we can digest. And so there's a reason that we were made that way. It, we have to have a certain amount of fat in order to maintain normal cellular function. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, gosh, I mean, even as a bodybuilder, I'm interested in getting essential fats because I know that the, the cell walls of my muscle cells are made of lipids, of basically of free fatty acids right, you right. know so it feeds that part of the muscle as well so I always get this every day I'll have a tablespoon or two mm -hmm. of, a, of a good quality uh, fish oil or ethylene you know which is a uh, uh, you know the uh, 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 free fatty acid supplement. Right. So always have uh, some of that. I typically eat uh, salmon as well. Salmon, yeah. Coming back to your question, yeah. no, 10% is too low. Too in low. fact, okay. I've actually experimented with that in the past. Uh -huh. You know, years ago when I was competing in the Mr. Olympia, I actually knocked my fat calories down below 10%. Oh, wow. And what I experienced was that my body fat loss actually came to a halt because my body uh, really it almost got alarmed. Interesting. You know, it, it's like, oh, okay, well, uh, there's not enough essential fat coming in the diet, so all the alarm bells go yeah. off, and it, all of a sudden my body started hanging on to that last little bit like of stubborn survival fat. Mode, huh? yeah. Survival mode. Mm, That's exactly right. Yeah, you know, so I think that you have to have about 20% uh, fat. About That's about okay. the magic number, and you want to make sure it's from natural sources. Yep. Okay. Let's Great. go back to reading labels. Right. Okay, so here's, here's a, one of my favorite foods. It's not a fatty food. It is uh, oats, okay, which is a great source of complex carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, but let's flip this thing around and let's take a look to see how much. I, let me put it on this side here. Let's take a look to see how much fat this thing has. Okay, all right. So right over here under Nutrition Facts panel, you're going to find calories from fat, and you're going to find calories. You take that number there, 25, okay. and you divide it by 150. Okay, so take my calculator again. 25, uh -huh, 25 divided, by, divided 150. by 150. It's about what, 15, okay. 16 percent? Yeah, it's yeah, six, about 17 percent. About 17 percent. So yeah. this is 17 percent fat. This is this would be a lean body food. This is excellent. Okay, you can you can have this. That's for sure. Okay, now let's go to the other. Let's go to the other extreme, right? Right. Okay, let's take a look at this guy right here. All right, so this essentially is a bottle of ranch dressing. Okay, and I'm, I'm not picking on ranch dressing. It can be any kind of dressing, you know. Right. But typically, people say, hey, "Have you heard? Have you heard these uh, 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 people that say, you know, I only have a salad for lunch. That's all I have. I can't figure out why I'm not losing weight." Right. <sighs> yeah. They're putting all of this salad dressing on top of that salad. The salad doesn't have a lot of right. calories, but this is loaded with calories, yeah, guys. Makes sense. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, so we've got, let's look here under the Nutrition Facts panel. We got the calories from fat, 140. Okay, so I'm going to go 140. I'm sorry, you know, it's actually 130. Okay, 130. Calories from fat, 130. Okay. And total calories, 140. And divide it by 140. Yeah, 130. so 85, 90, what is that? Wow. 93% fat. This is 93% fat, man. I mean, literally, you know, you could uh, you could probably just eat that salad without any salad dressing, and then just go uh, munch on a bag of fries or something. You'd probably would have more fun doing it. You know, so <laughs> you know, all, all kidding aside, yeah. uh, you got to watch the calories in these salad dressings. I typically just opt for you know like apple cider vinegar, you know, or something that uh, is a fat a fat free. You even have to be careful with with uh, fat free dressings uh -huh. because a lot of times what they'll do is they'll play games on the labels and they'll make the serving size so small that it'll be below one gram of fat ah. and even though 100% of the calories are coming from fat by law the way that they can label it they can label it as being a, a, a no fat food you know okay so okay now let's go let's go to this and there's a reason I'm going to this yeah, next. Right, right. now this is almond butter right, right guys almond butter let's take a look and how much calories are in almond butter almonds right. are good for you right they are okay so we got Total calories 190, but the fat calories are 140. So 140 divided by 190, 140 divided by 190 okay. is what? 74%. 74, 74 fat. Okay, wow. this was 74% yeah. fat. This was like 93% fat. Right. What's the difference? I'll tell you, it's a huge difference. Yeah. Okay, both of them will get you fat if you take in too much because excess calories get stored as fats. Right. But what these fats do in your body when you uh, consume them are two totally different things. Okay, this here is loaded with unsaturated fats and fats that are good for you. Right. Okay, so, but this is loaded with omega-6s, okay, which are not good for you. All right, so um, there's a big difference between consuming things that are healthy for you like nuts 
and consuming uh, things that are just uh, 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 sources of uh, uh, calories, you know, like uh, vegetable oils and hydrogenated oils. So and let me ask like you this one thing, Lee. So you yeah. think about that. That's a good one. So you say, okay, I got almond butter. That's that's a good fat. Um, but what if I say, okay, well, you know, I was going to have one tablespoon, but since Lee says it's a good fat, I'm going to have maybe three tablespoons. Right. W w I mean, is, well, you're is still, there a difference? You're, you're still, it's still calories you, too, you, right? Yeah, exactly. you got to watch out for That's that, exactly right. right. That's yeah. the point that I was trying to make is, yes, they are healthy fats right. because uh, of the way uh, that the dynamics, nutritional dynamics of that fat inside the body. Right. Okay. However, they still have calories so they can make you gain weight right. just like another fat can. Yeah, it's like just, a calorie surplus that you're in. Yeah, right? it's a, okay. exactly. That's exactly okay. right. Good. And then I'm going to take a look at these guys. Okay, so here's our Lean Body Shake, our world-famous Lean Body Shake with 40 grams of protein and zero sugar. And let's take a look at this label here. You know, so then we've got uh, 280 calories. 280? To, total. Uh, and 80 of those calories come from fat, so it's going to be 80, 80 divided, divided by, by 280. 280. Okay. It's going to be about, what, 25, 27, 28? Yeah, 28. 20, 28 fat by yeah, calories. Yeah, so let me ask you, what kind of fats are in that lean body? You know, for instance, if we talk about good fats, you know, saturated fats sure. versus sure. Know, bad well, fats. Sure, sure. Well, we, we use, we use uh, high oleic sunflower oil right. on this, right. you know, which is which is a, a, a decent fat. It's, right. It's, it's a good fat. Yeah. You know, and uh, we put that little bit of fat in there, you know, to uh, help maintain uh, blood sugar levels, you know, and, you know, so you can take the shake, you can feel satiated, yep. you know, because you're getting a little bit of fat from that as well, you know, uh, but not enough to uh, upset your uh, your diet balance, right. your, okay. your macros, so to speak. Got it. Yep. So um, that is, uh, you know, what I wanted to share with you today. So anytime that you guys are in the grocery store and you go through, you know, take a look at the, uh, at the foods. When you pick up a processed food, flip it around, do some quick math. You're just going to take the t uh, fat calories and you're going to divide it uh, by the total calories you know and you know you can just kind of roughly figure it out you know 70 divided by 220 i would just round it up i'd say 80 divided by 240 that's about a third right. that's about 33 percent fat you know that's and so you can just do some quick math in your head but this way you can uh pick and choose and know what you're getting into well, one of the things i want to ask you lee is on fat in general let's just say for the week i'm, I'm eating food a lot of people say, well, I need to eat a certain amount of maybe fish per week or something like that. What do you usually do? For instance, you know, I know you, you get fish oil. I mean, how many, how many times should somebody maybe eat a good fat, you know, good well, fish or, you I, know, like a I, salmon or something I get, like that? I get good fats every day. Right. You know, so I'll take my fish oil every day. Right. And I probably have at least six servings of salmon every week. Okay. You know, and so some days two servings, other days one serving. But I eat a lot of salmon, guys. Right. You know, and there's other people. I know people that love sardines, for right. instance. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know there's, there's other ways of getting essential fats, but I think that you should consume those every day. Okay, great. Very good. Okay, so that really kind of wraps it up for today, and I would like to encourage you guys to go to my website, labrata.com, and check out all of the free nutritional articles, nutrition programs, and free videos that we have there. We've got a great newsletter. we got a, a, a men's newsletter, a, 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 a female newsletter, a Lean Body for Her newsletter that we send out every week containing tons of valuable information. Be sure to go to labrata.com and sign up for that. I'm Lee Labrata with Labrata Nutrition and we will see you next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click on the button below and subscribe so that you can enjoy videos on topics like these every single week. I'm Lee Labrata with Labrata Nutrition and thanks for tuning in.